I feel like I'm at a party and I see everyone I've ever made out with in one room because I have Carabas right over here and then I have Outback right over here. And for all we know, down the street there's an Olive Garden. And all I'm trying to do is eat at Red Robin. I'm just trying to concentrate on my new boyfriend. Hello, we are at Red Robin. I had to say it like that. Yum. Yum. <laughs> and we are eating basically every single thing on the menu. Obviously a ton of burgers, fries, sandwiches, milkshakes, you name it, we're trying it today. I'm gonna go, bye. Holy sh! it's fine. I have already started to see the food that's coming my way and I'm very excited. We know how I feel about appetizer round, so I just wanna get into it. I'm almost gonna cry. We have the freckled lemonade, which is lemonade with a bunch of strawberries in here. And my favorite part about this, besides the color of it, is that it's bottomless. It's very sweet, not tart at all. It tastes like a childhood strawberry lemonade. It tastes very nostalgic. I understand why it's bottomless. I have a strange affinity, obsession, love with pretzel bites and beer cheese. I'm very excited for these. They're super pillowy and squishy and this beer cheese is probably just gonna be. Mm. I love beer cheese. Beer cheese is just one of the greatest creations on this planet. It's like perfectly salty, cheesy. Mm. Just ask for double, don't even question it, you're gonna want double. You can put it on everything. It is so good. I can already tell this is going to be my favorite. Let me show you the inside of this. Look at that. It's just pillowy. There's no better way to describe it, truly. Spinach artichoke dip. We have a bunch of Asiago, chopped red onions, obviously mounds of cheese, and just you know a little hint of the green, the spinach, so you feel a little healthy about it. You can actually taste more of the spinach in this than other ones we've had before. Usually, the spinach artichoke dip is just a way for you to feel like less guilty about eating cheese. Look at this thing. I feel like I'm at the Olympics and holding the torch. Oh, another great workout device. I'm telling you, these chains, you gotta use them for what they're worth. I would like Vinny, our post design genius, to make this a flame. 13 onion rings. Obviously the best ones to me are on top because they have the crispiest bits and they're cute and tiny. I dunked it in this really lovely spicy, probably I'm assuming it's like a creamy spicy, almost like a bang bang sauce. Everything to me is bang bang sauce now. Mmm, no, it's better. That's divisive. Wait, I'm confused. It's kind of honey mustard like. What is it? Holy f that's good. Campfire mayo. Christy Teigen says that Red Robin's Ranch is the best, and I have no right in fighting her on that, so I just we're just gonna say it's the best as well. I don't know which dipping sauce is better. I could see myself kind of doing both at the same time. I feel like each one I don't want to say goodbye to. It's equally getting harder. We have Red's Buzz Boneless Wings, and we got ours with a bunch of the buffalo sauce and blue cheese crumbles, duh. And there's a bunch of kettle chips underneath that makes it like a cute little, it's almost like nachos to me in a way, but buffalo wing chip nachos. Mmm, that's good buffalo. Look at those blue cheese crumbles. Mm. <laughs> it's that hot spiciness that hits you right in your face the moment it touches your tongue. And then it keeps building. And if you ate all of these, you would just be coated in sweat. A happy sweat though. This has been a difficult round for me because I love them all equally. But if I had to choose, it's gonna be the onion ring tower because of the sauces. Those are amazing. And then the pretzel bites. Let's get the burgers. This looks manageable. That's, that's weird to say out loud, but it really does. I, I'm fine with this. Famous last words. <laughs> I'm fine with this. Dead. A fun game my friends and I like to play is purposely filling up each other's drinks all the way to the edge so you constantly have to drink it like this. 
So I'm drinking here the 1969 Lager from Red Robin. It's an homage to the year that they opened. And also, this is one of the first beers we've had, I don't know, in a very long time. We really don't drink beer at these restaurants. Pinkies up. I feel like a rope, like an animatronic doll that it's like seeing all the burgers and it's malfunctioning. I'm like, doo, 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 doo. this is the smoke and pepper burger. And it has a bunch of peppered bacon on top, three big old pieces of it. And also I really love that they call these dill pickle planks. They're not messing around with the black pepper in this. Ooh, that bacon is super potent. It's really, really crispy too. Yeah, it's almost like the perfect BLT bacon in here. It's really juicy. I love all the lettuce and the pickles in there. It breaks it all up. Ooh, look at that beautiful cheese on the bottom here. And like, I think it's their bistro sauce, which looks like just some sort of cheesy mayo mess of happiness going on. Mm. I don't recommend you do that. This is a Southern Charmer and it has brown sugar glaze in here. I'm excited. This one's gonna be like a very sweet burger. That's such a good bite. If I went to the dentist, he'd be so proud of me. This tastes like you're at a barbecue on the 4th of July. It's still there. Hey, at least I'm telling you now. Should we hire an intern that their entire job is just to wipe my face off? <laughs> the bacon is perfectly crispy again. And I really love how soft the buns are. I hate when the bread to burger ratio is just out of whack and it's too much bread. This is perfect. Oh no. <laughs> Red Robin is supposed to have some of the best fries. They're not too sweet, the sweet potato fries. It's a little bit, has the right amount of salt and crispiness to it. I should technically do the steak fries too, right? They're bottomless, they're great. I was gonna dip it in the salad dressing, that's not how that works. So at your table when you come here, you get their original season flavor, which is just like, I tried to smell it earlier and I almost snorted it all up my face. I expect it to smell like Old Bay, but it doesn't. I like it because it smells like it's gonna be really strong, but it doesn't taste super strong. Mad Love Burger, very excited because it has a jalapeno relish and it has this crispy Parmesan and probably Mott's crisp. It's a crispy crisp, as one would say. And I just feel like this burger is beautifully layered. You got your meat, the cheese, the bacon, the tomato, the onions. Oh, and there's avocado. This one might be my favorite. The jalapeno relish is really strong. It's burning like right here on my tongue. It's a little, whoo. I love the cheese. Oh my God, it's so spicy. <laughs> Why? I'm a little sweaty from that burger. I purposely am ending with this one because I feel like I will love it the most. It's the black and blue burger. And just look how much sauce there is. There's a creamy cheese sauce, there's blue cheese crumbles, a bunch of mushrooms. I, it just looks so cheesy and melty. It almost looks like a spinach artichoke dip is inside of it, but we know that's not what it is. It's so saucy. It's juicy and wet. Oh my God. It's like the juiciest thing ever. It's very creamy and very, almost like, I wanna say mild on the flavor because it's so, it's just cheese and mushrooms. It's all these things that are just very comforting. I love this burger. I love the black and blue, and even though this jalapeno relish one slightly killed me, I love the cheese crisp on it. Very hard for me to eat a lot of it, but I enjoy it, and if you love spicy food, you would love that burger. This thing is just staring at me. It's, I, that's how I feel. We have the Royal Red Robin Burger, and it has a cute little fried egg on top. You got your bacon, you got your American cheese. We've got mayo in here, we got lettuce. Oh, it's heavy. It's like holding a newborn baby. <laughs> this is gonna be so messy, I can already tell. I'm so zoomed in. Uh, it's fine, it's fine at this point. You don't even really need much of a dressing, not a dressing, a sauce on it, because the yolk is the sauce. I can't get over the weight of it. It's a very, very heavy, dense burger. 
It's like a piece of bacon or burger in my eyeball. Cute. You say Whiskey River burger with fried onion straws, barbecue sauce. What in the f am I doing? <laughs> burger and cheese. Whatever. Ooh, these burgers feel heavier than the last round. I don't know what they did here. It's like a fried onion tower shoved inside a burger, a sh ton of barbecue, tangy, sweet happiness. This is rocking my frickin' world right now. I'm not gonna lie, I saw this on the menu, and I was like, what the f is a sand in your shorts? And this looks just about what I expected. A tropical, beautiful, looks like a sunset in a cup with your little cherry and your orange. It's tart. I thought this would be a sugar bomb. If Sour Skittles made a pineapple passion fruit flavor, that's what this would taste like. Wedgie burger. Please look at the health on the plate. Look at all the green. We've never seen such things. And by the way, as much as you wanna do bottomless steak fries, you can also do bottomless broccoli if you wanna go the healthy route. That sounds like Tessa's nightmare. It would be Tessa's nightmare. This is a keto, low-carb person's dream. There's, oh, there's a bunch of guac in here. Tomato, bacon. Oh, there's no cheese. Oh, God. I thought I'd miss the bread, but it's really satisfying having the crunch and the crisp of the, of the lettuce here. I miss the cheese, but I would just order this with cheese and call it a day. This is the teriyaki glazed burger with an entire thick, chunky bit of pineapple. Ooh, many chunky bits. I was really excited about this one because I know that pineapple on pizza is divisive, but I feel like it's not as divisive on a burger. Pizza sauce and pineapples don't go together, but I feel like burger meat with pineapples and a little bit of tomato goes together. I'm gonna stop talking because none of it makes sense anymore. The teriyaki on this burger is Banging. Ooh, heck yeah. I love the teriyaki on that. Holy sh that's good. This terrifies me as well. I wanna know what made Red Robin think to just add an entire jalapeno on top of their burger. Is this to warn you about what's going to happen? We have a Burning Love burger here. One of my favorite things about this is that they have these little fried jalapeno coins. So instead of, you would think it's a fried pickle, but you'll be very sad if, <laughs> when you bite into it if you think it's a pickle. I figure I can do it. Oh yeah, there you go. You can kind of see the help. Can you see the helping you? I, oh. <gasps> I get so mad when it, when it makes me. It's not spicy, it's not spicy, it's not spicy. It's not spicy. This is a sweat-inducing burger. When they call it the burning love, they mean that it's literally burning your throat and your esophagus as you eat it. There's so many pieces of jalapeno in here. They're not skipping on you. Also this thing. You just want it for the camera content. I'm dipping it in a little bit of ranch. This is the Impossible Burger and we have a bunch of cheese, mayo, tomatoes, red onions. Ooh, and a little bit of a relish. I don't taste much of the burger, to be honest with you. I'm gonna try just the burger part with my hands. It's crispy, and it has that chewiness that a burger has. Because it's veggie based, I think it's harder for them to make it super juicy. But, so what you do is add it on all the juicy toppings to counteract that. Favorites from this round, the bonsai burger comes in first place because that teriyaki sauce on there is so freaking good. Sometimes burgers will say it's like coffee glazed, whatever, but then when you taste it, it's like everything else kind of overpowers it. This one, you can still taste the teriyaki. Really love that. And I really love the barbecue one. I don't think I have any more things to say about burgers. So I'm, I'm so sorry for the next round. It's probably just gonna be like, it tastes like meat. We're on the last round of burgers, which means we're halfway through. The fun fact of Red Robin is that they have over a hundred different toppings you can put on your burgers. So 
you can truly make whatever your heart desires. The ones that we are seeing here are the ones that are on the menu, but if you wanted like two crazy things put together, you could just order that. We have the Haystack Tavern Double, two patties, a bunch of the little onion crispies here, and the campfire sauce, which we know we adore. I'm going for all the cheese on this side of it, for sure. I took one lactate. Am I gonna need two? Of course so. That's a commercial bite. Look at that. I would frame this shit. When you're craving a cheeseburger really badly, this to me is exactly what I want. The cheese in between the two burger patties is what makes it just like a cheese lover's paradise. I'm gonna drink some Blue Moon in the Pilsner glass. It's like the guy's mimosa, you know? Or the wine hater's mimosa. Mm. Second burger here, Cowboy Ranch Tavern Double. We have a bunch of that beautiful ranch sauce that we love, cheese in between each patty, and look, oh look, what we got again? A bunch of crispy onion rings. Well, actually not onion rings, onion strips. <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh, it's dripping. I might like the ranch a little bit more than the campfire sauce. This burger was so good to me. It was like a classic cheeseburger on it with an upgrade. I love this one even more because there's barbecue, ranch, crispy onion rings, and it's just perfectly juicy. Ranch and barbecue sauce together. What a beautiful marriage. We have the Pig Out Tavern Double here, and it has some brown sugar on the patties and a bunch of bacon. I'm not having the same reaction. I want the campfire sauce and I want the ranch on this. I feel like it's missing that. How could we end this round without the Red's Tavern double burger? I don't know if I have it in me. I wanted to make my last bite a really fun, pretty bite and make it the biggest bite so far, but I just... <sighs> okay. This is just super creamy and classic and very cheesy. So I want the ranch and the barbecue sauce and the campfire sauce on this. I want all of their sauces on all of their burgers. It's just a simple request. Okay, my favorite from this round, Cowboy Ranch, was a beautiful out-of-body experience. Highly recommend, 12 out of 10. There's no part of this that says this is gonna go well for me. This drink color is insane. It's the Poppin' Purple Lemonade with prickly pear. Pop and purple lemonade, prickly pear. Pop and purple lemonade, prickly pear. Pop and purple lemonade, prickly pear. It's actually not that hard to say. Oh, I was a little nervous that this was gonna be like prickly pear to the face screaming at me, but it's not. It's very subtle. It has a bunch of Swiss, huge, thick, 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 chunky pineapple that's grilled. And of course, your tomato, your lettuce. It's, I think there's also the barbecue sauce on here. <laughs> I might like this better than the burger because the chicken is not competing with the pineapple and the barbecue. It's all playing nicely together. I would definitely order that for lunch. Chicken tenders, the steak fries, again, I think I already said this as the fun fact, but you can get these bottomless, same with the side salad, same with the broccoli. I'm actually gonna dip the steak fries into the ranch. Just the right amount of crunch to them. Chicken tendy in the ranch, ready to go. Let's have at it. You get four big boys. Like, these are nice. These are the size of my hand, each one of them. And they are juicy. They are the right amount of breaded, where the breading to chicken ratio is right where I want it to be. I want a good amount of breading, because I'm not trying to just eat like grilled healthy chicken here. I want it to like taste a little unhealthy. And the ranch is just that really creamy, tangy. I understand what Chrissy Teigen's talking about. I get it. We have Arctic cod, fish, and chips here going on. And it just like flakes apart. You get those huge chunks of fish. It's comforting. It makes me think of when I was a little kid and your mom would just make that for you. It's very simple. I think these are beer battered. Ugh, that's how you know it's a good one. It just flakes apart like that. Oh, I see those beautiful, oh, that's so much mayo in there, and pickles, red onions, tomato, got that lettuce. It's gonna be like a staple, a classic. 
it's really giving me the Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich vibes. I don't know if it's also, I think Chick-fil-A sandwich does it in peanut oil, and this is what this kind of tastes like to me too. I'm into this, yeah. We have the Ensenada chicken platter, which I've been told is a staff favorite here. This is so different from everything else we've had. Grilled chicken to me can just be very bland and boring, but the two different sauces on here just make it, take it to a whole new level. It's packed with flavor, but it seems like it's also healthy. I do really appreciate this. I have to say though, this was my favorite, the chicken teriyaki sandwich. It was just beautifully like the Swiss with the chicken, with the pineapple. It just like was a happy, it was like a very happy marriage, happy relationship going on here. Whiskey River barbecue chicken wrap, cheddar, bunch of barbecue sauce, grilled chicken, spinach wrap. Thank God it's in a wrap because there's so much barbecue sauce in here. It's overflowing. I really, really enjoy this. This one's a messy boy. Look at that. That's just like all that sauce on there. BLT avocado croissant sandwich. We have really large hunks of avocado. It could almost be an avocado toast. And we have bacon in here. We have turkey and tomato. Again, a bunch of that shredded lettuce. Whew. I know what I'm gonna do, because I don't feel like biting into this sandwich yet, so instead I'm gonna tell you guys a fun fact. Red Robin originally didn't even sell burgers, which to me is kind of crazy. They originally started with popcorn and wraps. So there were no steak fries. They definitely weren't unlimited back then, and there were no burgers. They added that on much later. Also, another weird fun fact is that Red Robin was started in Washington State. Most of the places we have gone are from Florida or Texas, so I think it's really interesting that this one's from Washington State. We haven't had anything really from the West Coast yet. On that note, now I'm gonna eat this sandwich. It's a tame brunch sandwich to me. I want there to be something spicy with it a little bit. This is Red's signature margarita. And at first when I was ordering it, I assumed it was going to be the color red because, it, because of Red Robin, Red's, I don't know. I am very thrilled it's not red. And it's your typical margarita here with Cointreau. You have the triple sec, you have your tequila, you have your lime. Ooh. These are just always chuggable for me. Margaritas, way to my heart. If I could add some of those jalapenos that we had from other rounds into here, I'd be even happier. Still very delighted with that one. This is such a cute name. It's Avo Cob O. Get it? And we have blue cheese, tomatoes, grilled chicken, hard boiled egg, avocado, bacon crispies, croutons, and somewhere beneath this, there's a ton of lettuce. We can't find it though. I don't even know how you properly build the bite for this one. You just kind of have to go into each little circle and get a little bit of it. <laughs> this is such chaos. That's a bite. I don't regret it. I like my salads usually mixed all together and it kind of ends up looking really gross by the end. I like that this is a separated salad right now. This Southwest salad. I found one of the jalapenos on here. It had like a little smiley face. You see that? The little eyeballs, the little smiley. It's so cute. I ate it. I take a little bit of the grilled chicken with their barbecue sauce. I guess I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put half of a jalapeno on it because they're just really potent. It's like a barbecue chicken taco in a salad form. I like the salad more than the avocado. I just feel like this is much more my flavor alley. It's much like a stronger flavor. Again, I think that ch grilled chicken most of the time just tastes so boring. So when you get it at a place that it actu you actually enjoy eating it, that's a huge plus for me. I think this is my favorite thing, the Southwest salad. Oh. It's just the color of the rainbow in your bowl. You have to feel so good while you eat this feel like a very, very bloated, exhausted golden retriever. I'm so excited because we're in dessert round. And dessert round means we're almost done.
We have the Mountain High Mud Pie, which is just a bunch of chocolate. Like, this is like three stories worth of chocolate ice cream. We have a layer of, it looks like brownie or a chocolate cake, and then we have a cookies and cream ice cream, and it looks like an Oreo crust, and then just a bunch of chocolate and caramel going on down here. Uh. That chocolate ice cream is smooth. You see that? Oh, yeah. one moment. Oreo crust bottoms will always be my favorite. Graham cracker crust comes close to second. This is just a beautiful layer. There's, it's like there's brownie, there's cake, there's Oreo, there's ice cream. There's kind of something for everyone in this. Um, I'm mainly demolishing the bottom half and ignoring the chocolate ice cream. That's only because I'm lactose intolerant, not because I don't like chocolate ice cream. We have the s'mores milkshake right here, which has the cutest, tiniest little mini marshmallows. Do you remember from the Swiss Miss hot chocolate packs? That's what these look like. Aren't they cute? And then these are chocolate covered graham crackers. And I'm assuming this is just a bunch of graham cracker bits with something that's making it toasty tasting. It's mainly more vanilla-y than chocolatey, which I appreciate. There's a bunch of chocolate at the bottom, so my straw might not just be hitting there. But the chocolate graham crackers on top are really what's doing it for me. I would just have those on their own if I could. We have the Oreo cookies and cream milkshake right here. This thing is just beautiful. Whoever doesn't like cookies and cream, I don't, I don't know who you are, but let's have a chat. I like the Oreos more than the s'mores one. The only thing that could make this better is if it was like a really hot day and I was drinking this or if there was alcohol in this. Have you met my friend's cinnamon sugar dough rings? It comes on its own pedestal and it comes with two dipping sauces and it's just dusted and encrusted in cinnamon sugar. You get eight little mini donuts. It feels like a makeup sponge. Like, if you could like do your makeup with it. We're gonna try it with the caramel. So fluffy and so light but thick all at the same time because of the, the sauce. I'm just gonna break apart another one. Ugh, yeasty, yeasty happiness. Let's put in some chocolate sauce here. I like the chocolate more than the caramel. These are perfectly warm. They're just so soft and sweet and gentle and delicate and angelic. That's another word. I think I used all of them. This is actually a very difficult round for me to judge. I feel like these are very unique to Red Robin. So I would say that these two are coming in a tie for me. This one is much more shareable for the table and very fun to look at and probably take pictures of. While this one, you just destroy it. It looks like World War III on your plate, but it tastes amazing in your mouth and in your stomach. I think I've hit my melting point. My fingers are coated in sugar. My body is coated in sweat and barbecue sauce. I'm pretty sure there's ranch at least on three different parts of my body as well. Wherever you want me to go next, let me know in the comments below. And last but not least, we take the leftovers home. I promise you, there's, can you show them? Can you show them the bags over there? Do you see all those bags? Those bags, they're coming home with me. Those are all the leftovers. Like and subscribe and comment. Just kidding. Okay, see you next time.